always a part that you just don't like mm -mm. and there's always a part that you just on your journey on your race on your walk so the bible is saying yeah okay i know about the valley i know what's coming so as you walk this journey mm -hmm. called life mm -hmm. as you walk this journey called 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 call human being the human race as you walk this journey i come to tell you i know you might not like this you want to turn this off right now there are some valleys there might be one or two you might say i've been through a valley come on. i've been through a valley before Pastor Henry, don't come tell me there's more valleys coming. We done been through the valley of cancer. We done been through the valley of whatever um, surgery, whatever pain you're in. That's yes. just part of life. It's, it's, yes. it's a valley. okay. Jesus, but we want to tell you the good news what's happening in the valley. Yes. That's what we're going to tell you. that There's some good news that's coming out of the valley. Yes. So while I walk, I got to trust God. While I walk, I got to believe God. So the first verse says, yeah. Though the first word I see is, yeah. Okay, mm, what, are okay. you what are you happy about? Why would you say, yeah, before you're talking about walking through a valley? Mm. Why would you say, yeah, before you're at the lowest point? Why would you say, yeah? You know, so at, at this time, you know, the, 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 hey, um, the, the writer hey, is saying, yeah, though. Okay, we got to understand though. Yes. Okay, so yes, I'm in the valley. Yes, I'm in this pain. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm in this hurt. Yes, I'm in that situation. Though I'm in that. Yes. Though I'm going through that. Though yes. I'm going through this surgery. Though I'm going through this pain. Though I'm going through this confusion. Oh, no, you did <laughs> Leave you like that. <laughs> so yea, though I walk through the valley yep. of the shadow of death. Now... I love the fact that he said shadow mm -hmm. because a shadow means mm -hmm. that there is not a um, there's not anything of real substance there. Mm. Okay. When you're walking through a valley, you will always have a shadow. Why? Because a valley is in a lower um, plane. There's usually mountains or hills around it in order for it to be considered. A valley. Mm -hmm. There are always mountains and hills, and where are the, where there are mountains and hills, there is always a shadow. There's a shadow all times of the day. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then even at night, there'll be multiple ways that shadows can be um, produced by the moon, by the stars, by lights that are in the area. There's always shadows, and even right now, I'm moving my hands and I'm seeing the shadow behind me because we have light on and so just because there mm. is a shadow behind you a shadow in this front of you a, a shadow on the sides of you it doesn't matter that there's a shadow there but let me let you know that a shadow is penetrable now, i don't think you heard me mm -hmm. I, I don't i don't think you heard me a shadow is penetrable. That means you can walk right through that shadow. Yeah. And I need you to know today that no matter what it looks like, this is just a shadow and you can walk right through it. I need you to be encouraged that when you're walking through it, that God is with us. Why? Oh, don't let me jump ahead. Go, Pastor. See, look at you. Look at you. Go back, <laughs> Go back to Psalms 23 and 4. Yea, though I Sometimes we got to make this thing personal. Okay. okay? Sometimes we got to say that, yes, I am dealing with this valley right now. I am dealing with this pain right now. I am dealing with hurt right now. And sometimes when we feel like we're in our valley, we feel like we are all alone. Okay. It's just I. It's just me. Why is God doing this to me? Why am I in this situation? Come what is on. going on? We start making it, making it personal, personal and trying to find causes why I'm in the valley. It's part of of the journey. Amen. I've come to tell you this God morning, hey Tanya, it's part of the journey. As you walk, as you live this life, valleys are part of the journey. journey. So when the news come and the news put you in that valley, mm. so yay, though I walk, come on. I walk, I'm not going to stop in the valley. Come I'm on. not going to be stuck in the valley. Come I'm on. not going to get comfortable in the valley. Nope. A lot of us have gotten comfortable, in, comfortable yes. in the valley. Oh, well, I guess this is the best I can do. Mm. Oh, I, I ain't got no job. I ain't got nothing. So mm. I, ain't, I ain't even going to go walk to try come to on. find a job. I ain't come not even going to walk on the, on the 
a computer or whatever to go find a better job. I'm just going to be comfortable in this valley. Mm. Though It doesn't say, though I am comfortable in the valley. No. no. Though I walk. And hear the word that's going to really bless you on this morning. We can stop after this. I don't even right. have to get to, to five and six. Come though on. I walk through. Yes. Through. Can yes. somebody say through? Through. through. So what if you're going to go back and share your testimonies. Go back and share yes. the battles that you've made it through. Go back and share the test that you've made it through. Go back and share to the point and where remember, you was in a valley and you almost wanted to quit and you thought the valley was going to close me in. But many people that can sit there, I know we can. Y'all yes. don't want to hear no more of testimony. Y'all don't heard too much. Okay? Y'all you probably bored with it right now. But guess what? You have to believe and you have to trust in the word through. Through, through means I ain't stuck. No. Through means I'm moving. Through yes. means I'm active. Through, through means I'm making advance. I'm in a valley right yes. now, but I'm making advances in my life. Come on. I am still Press moving. Through. Man, I tell you, I love that. You know, the, the rich people, the, the rich story of people who was born rich, was born with a silver spoon mm. in their mouth, okay. and they're rich now. And they, Good life. God bless you. Not hating on you. God bless you for, to, for falling under a family that had billions. But the story I want to hear... Yes. Tell me how you came up from the valley of, of, of the hood, of the ghetto, gunshot, no mom, yes. drug addiction, all that. That, ooh, that makes my eyes get big. That's the stories that I want to yes. hear. That's the feel like, wow, I could have quit there. But when I hear your story, story. When, when I, I hear, hear your, your testimony, yes. when I hear where you came from, when I hear that your mom and dad wasn't there, when I hear that, Come you know, you, you made it through jail, you made it through that valley, yes. you made it through sickness, you made it through yes. being a gangster, you made it, you made it through, through being a cracker. Do you remember I keep saying through? You yes. made it through all that, you and now through, look where and God now has look you. At you. Look where God has You're moved still you here. to. You are still here. Come Guess on. What? You are still walking. And yeah, I'm still going through. Yes, I'm still moving, Pastor Henry, Sister Henry. I did not stop. That God is saying, that's what makes your testimony so powerful. powerful. I, I, well, for those people that aren't there, you can turn it off right now. You can just click the button or finish or slide, whatever you got to do. If you say, well, Pastor, nah, my life been good all my life. I ain't never been through nothing. I ain't mm. never been through a valley. I ain't mm. never been through a storm. If that's you, God bless you. Hey, send me your inbox. I'll try to see how you did it. But for those that know that they got to deal with valleys yes. all the days of their yes. lives or most of their lives, or they still dealing with valleys, and they want to be encouraged how to move through. How to move yeah, through. Yeah, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil. Mm. Fear. Mm. That is Here the problem. Goes. Fear is the very thing that stops you. Fear is what puts you against that glass window and tells you you can't move. Mm -hmm. Fear is the very thing that has you shivering and staying up all oh, night yes. worrying. Fear oh, yeah. is you don't want mm -hmm. to be a product mm -hmm. of your fear. Mm -hmm. Fear will cause you to let everything go. Mm -hmm. Fear will cause you to toil in the midnight hour. And what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if. It's not time to think about the what if. Mm -hmm. What if you don't? What if you actually do? <laughs> what What if you walk <laughs> past that question. shadow? Yeah, that's the other question. Yeah. Yes, what if you actually do? Yep. See, the thing about um, fear is it will keep you from getting to your destiny. That's right. yeah, You've all, got all purpose the on yep. the other side of your fear. Let mm -hmm. me say that again. You have purpose on preach. the other side of preach. your fear. <laughs> you have, you yep. have, you have yep. purpose on the other side mm -hmm. of your fear. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We're still here on purpose. We're, we're still here for a reason. And you've got to get to the other side of fear. You. You've got to push your way through. You got to think your way through. Yes, you got to talk your way through. Sometimes you got to scream and cry your way through. Mm -hmm. But you will get through it. Mm -hmm. Through is um, a word that says, I started on this side yeah, yeah, yeah. of the valley. Yeah. I, I started on this side, but I'm making it to the mountainside. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm starting yeah. down low because um, we do not forsake the, the beginnings, the mm -hmm. small beginnings. Small beginnings. I, I'm starting on this side mm -hmm. where I'm struggling, but I'm getting to the mountainside. So I need you to get beyond your fear. Amen. Amen. Talk your way out of it because yeah. you can do it. 
Psalms 23 and 4. That's where we are. Psalms 23 and 4, okay? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. I would fear no evil. Let me share something with you. Why should not I fear the shadow? Mm. Why should not I fear the valley? Because the creator of the valley is my heavenly father. The creator of the, the valley is Jesus Christ, my mm. Lord and Savior. And trust me, if he put you in the valley, that means he just want to get you to what you say, your the purpose. The other side. Get to your yes, purpose your on the purpose. other side. If yes. God put Come you through on. a valley, if you are going hey, through a valley right now, it's because hey, God is trying to take you to the other side. Amen. Yes. God wants you to appreciate what Threw you it. have, who you have right now. For those that think there's a testimony of someone losing a child, I can't tell you the grief of losing a child. I don't know. I wish I could say I feel your pain. I do not. But God knows your pain. Morning, and God is saying, guess what? I'm going to comfort you. I'm going to keep you. I'm going to, hey, I'm going to replace what you lost. Amen. Yes, Amen. What a beautiful on. Roman. What a beautiful child you have, Sylvia. Amen. God said, I will replace, replace your loss. Amen. I will bless you even that much yes. more. Amen. Amen. My Amen. God. And God is saying, okay, you got to trust me in the valley. Here, but why are you in the valley now? You calling other people? You met. Watch this now. We are upset because people won't come and help us get out of the valley. Mm. And God said, why would I have people come help you out of the valley? Because they don't know where you're going. They don't know your purpose. So when people don't come help you, don't get upset. Mm -mm. God said, no, just keep walking. What the title today? Why I walk. walk. Okay, so even though I'm in the valley, I'm going somewhere. How you doing down there, Tracy? I'm kind of struggling. It's kind of tough in this valley. Okay, one one to may to help you out? Well, God has a purpose for me. I'm, I'm, I'm yes. going to stay for Stay put. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep believing God. Keep trusting God. Okay, I, don't, I can't say God. God will have people help you go forward. Mm. Let me say this again. You can't say, hey, Red, I know you in this marriage is a tough marriage. You're in a valley with your marriage. Come back to the single life. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You had fun in the single life. Mm -mm. We were chasing women in the single mm, life. No, 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 no. Okay, our marriage, whatever your marriage is, whatever, you know, if it goes to a valley, it goes to a valley. It goes through to get to but our purpose. But you go through together. Together. Come you go on. through together. Amen. Amen. If God had you by yourself, amen, you go through by yourself. Don't feel alone. Here's where, where I want to bless you today. Watch Come this now. Come on. Let me Watch see. This. It let says, see. though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I would fear no evil. We are fearing shadows, right? Yes. Right? You just said Running that. Running from shadows. We are fearing yes. shadows, right? Mm -hmm. I started to put a title on it, fearing shadows. Yes. We are fearing shadows. But here's what you got to understand. Wherever there is a shadow, there is light. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Let me say this again. Y'all don't hear that. Light creates shadow. If it's just pitch black, mm. you, you can't see nothing. There's no shadow. Mm. But where there is a shadow, there, is there has light. to be light. Come well, on, Jesus. Who is that light? Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Who is that light? Who Jesus is Christ us. is the light. Come so on. I know if there's a shadow. Wait a minute. That means God has to be close. God has yes, to be here. Yes, come on. His that's good. has to be here because the light is, is shining good. in this valley. And yes. this valley ain't pitch black. Come this on. valley ain't pitch dark. The, the, valley, the light is shining so I can sh see that shadow. And Amen. so the shadow, I, I will not fear. For what it says, look what it says right here in verse 4. For you are with me, your mm. rod and your staff, they comfort me. Amen. Okay, what, what did I just say earlier? We are calling people, we are begging people, we are hoping people will trying comfort us, comfort. will keep yes. us. And you know, we trying to call the wrong person. Yeah, come on over. Yes, it's I need some comfort. And we try, wait a minute. Then we try to take pills and yes. alcohol. We try and, to take mm, all this other stuff mm, just to mm, comfort Comfort, comfort, okay? And God is saying, well, right here, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The presence of God. Go ahead, Sister The presence of God is your comfort. The presence of God is your peace. You want peace? In the midst of this valley, you want peace? Mm. In the middle of all those shadows of mm -hmm. the what ifs? Mm. Get in the presence of the Lord. He said, my comforter. I give to you. Yep. He leaves with us his comforter. That is the Holy Spirit. Get in the presence of God yes. and there is peace. The peace that passes all oh, understanding. understanding. The peace that guards your heart. Why does my heart need to comfort so that I won't make the wrong decisions? Because when we're in fear, we can make the wrong decisions. But when there is where there is peace, 
we can make the right decisions. Mm -hmm. We can get on the right path. We can do the right things. When the peace that passes all understanding guards not only my heart, but my mind, then I can make the right mind decisions mm -hmm. and not lose my mind. Mm -hmm. So we have to not fear the shadow. We know that the shadow is penetrable. We can walk right mm -hmm. on through it. We know because of the light, there is a shadow and that he's with us. And mm -hmm. so we're comforted. But not only are we comforted, but num verse five says, mm -hmm. you, God, is preparing a table mm -hmm. before who? Walk to your table. Before me. <laughs> See, on the other side of that fear, you have a resting place at the table yep. with God. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to prepare a table before me mm -hmm. in the presence. <laughs> in the presence of my enemies. Mm -hmm. But I love that verse. And I don't think we look at it nope. like we should. He said, you, meaning God, prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So the ones that said you couldn't, there the ones go. that said, ain't no way, they ain't going to last. She can't make it. They're trifling. They're terrible. Mm -hmm. They just like they daddy. They this, they that. Everyone that was skeptical. Everyone that has given up on you. Everyone that let you go. Mm, mm -hmm. mm. Everyone is going to be sitting at the table saying, how did they get to the table? How did they get to the table that was spread like this? Mm -hmm. How did they get to the table? Mm -hmm. How did they get to the head mm -hmm. of the table? Come on, somebody. How did they get to the head of the table? Mm -hmm. Because you're going to have, just like when you go to a wedding, there is a prepared name at the table. Mm -hmm. And God has prepared <laughs> your good. name. That's good. God has prepared your, your name yeah. at a table yeah. with your name on it. Yep. You have a place at a table That's with good. your name on it. Good morning, Brazil. That's Just good. know that his prepared place has your name name on it. Go fast. That's good. That's good. You know, and, and we talking about getting that table because the table is your purpose. Come on. Okay. Remember she said from the very beginning. Yes. You're walking through the valley. Okay. To get to your purpose. Yes. Amen. I don't know about you, but whatever valley I'm in right now, Okay, I am trusting God that God is going to comfort me and keep me yes. to get to that table. Come on. I know you're going through right now. I know the pain. I know the hurt. And I really probably don't even understand the pain. Mm. I haven't felt it. Mm. But we are here to tell you. Yes. And we are here to encourage you that God has prepared something for you at the end of your valley. Yes. God has prepared something for you on the other side of your valley. Come on. God has prepared a, a something for you and, and has a, a, a name. There ain't nobody going to take your place. Yes. So you, there ain't nobody going to say, okay, well, I beat, I beat Crystal out the valley so I get to mm. sit at that table. Come no, on. no, 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 no. This place is for Crystal. This place is for Tracy. This place is for Sylvia. This place is for Lisa. This place is for Gaynell. You have to come to understand now that God said, God I said. have prepared. God okay. said. And, and so your enemy that was watching you in the valley, mm -hmm. the enemy that was looked at you and checking on you mm -hmm. and see, mm, yeah, she's still in that valley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she still ain't making it. But Go next ahead. thing you know, they looking at you like, why mm -hmm. are you sitting next why to me you at this table? table? Well, Come I don't on. even think they even <laughs> at that table. They trying to figure out, how do I get to that table? Come so sometimes they sit there Come and they trying to wonder how did you get to that table <laughs> and what do I have to do to get to that table, Come amen? Because I ain't never been table. in the valley. You been you were so far down. You were stuck in drugs. You was an alcoholic. You was a whoremonger. You was a liar. You were a cheater. How in the world did you get to this table? Because mm. thou are with me. The rod and their staff, they comfort, they comfort me. Now, look at verse 5. It says, as you, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy, mm. you anoint my head with oil, my cup running over. Amen. Mm. Well, I, I have to get to my cup. Come on. I have to get to my table where my cup, Come on. where my, my setting is there. Okay, I want to get there. I wish we had time to go on, but guess what? I'm going to jump down to verse 6 mm -hmm. because this is going to bless you on today. Yes. Amen. Come on. Surely goodness and mercy Surely. shall follow me. And you got to understand the key word. I know y'all got y'all getting excited about goodness. Mm -hmm. Y'all getting excited about mercy, mm -hmm. right? But the word I want you to, to, to hold on to when mm -hmm. I say this in verse 6. Psalms 23 and 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow, follow me. So wait a minute. What, what you trying to say, Pastor? That when I was going through the valley or if I'm in the valley mm -hmm. of the shadow of death, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. If I look behind me, goodness and mercy is back there. Right there. Goodness and mercy shall follow, follow me. Right so there. So you are not in this valley by yourself. Look at, look at, boy, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's back a minute. There was a whole bunch of people dying in there. I thought it was Come by on. myself. But the day I find out he's with me, Come on, right his there. rod, his staff comfort me, mm -hmm. goodness and mercy is all down there with me. Mm -hmm. Man, the valley is pretty crowded. Amen. I thought I was alone. I thought that nobody wanted to be with me. They didn't mm -hmm. want to come around me when I was going through my valley. God said, man, I got some real people with you in your valley. Mm -hmm. I got some real come All on. I'm asking you to do in your valley is trust me, pray, believe. But most of all, just keep walking. walking. Don't While stop. I walk. While I walk, while I walk, I believe that God is able. While I walk, I'm staying focused. I'm, I'm looking ahead for my table. Yes. I don't know about you, but I am looking for my table as I walk through my valley. In 2020, whatever is going on in 2020, I know it has absolutely been horrible. I know, about but you. we're still we're here. We're looking. We're still Come here. Come on, Guess what? we're still Press walking. Your way. September, still October, walk. November is still coming. Walking. It's Come coming, on. and I'm believe. You gotta believe. You can't. You gotta we believe. Can't talk negative. Yes. I'm not on here talking doom and gloom. Mm -mm. I'm not talking about, oh, we're going to all forward. die. This disease is going to kill everybody. The devil is a lie, amen? Yes. The healing will we come. Shall live the miracle and will die. come, amen? Yes. We shall live and not die. And we need everybody to believe that, you know, as a country, as a as, a, as America, as a state, we're going through this together. But yet again, you'll also have your individual battles that you're going through. Amen? Yes. Amen? But in either sense, in either way, we have to know that God is there to comfort. Yes. God is there to keep. That if the shadow is there, that means the light is there. Let me say Come this again. On. If, if the shadow, shadow is there, there that, that means, means the, the light, light is, is there. there. So instead of instead of fearing the shadow, mm -hmm. let's have faith in the light. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let me say that one more time. You can write it down yes, right here. Get that the t-shirt. Instead of fearing the shadow, let's it's have, have to have faith, faith in, in the, the light. light. Come oh, my on. God, That's my good. God. Let's have God. faith you in the light. Faith in the light. Amen. Yes, the shadow is there. Yes, the valley is there. But I'm going to have faith in the Father. Faith in the light. I'm going to yes. believe God, Come but he's going to take me through this battle. Look what it says. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. All the days of my life, all the even days. the days in all the valley, the days, the days yes. out of the valley, the good times, the bad times, amen, the dark times, the light times, amen. all the days of, the, of my life, goodness and mercy shall follow me. And I love this last part, and I am done, okay. because I got to get ready to preach to y'all at 11, 1130, and I will dwell in the house <laughs> of the Lord forever. forever. So wait a minute, you trying to tell me, like, you know, the, the little red, white hood, you have to, you have to walk through the... Through the woods yes. to get to the house? Yes. I got to walk through the valley? To get to the house. To get to the house. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Amen. Sister Chris, I'm let you close let, it out. Let me close it out with this. And I have to take you back up mm -hmm. to where he said, You anoint my head mm -hmm. with oil. My cup runs over. You anoint my head with oil. The thing about your head being anointed with oil, remember... When David was anointed king, he was anointed king way before he sat on the throne. And how was he anointed? The prophet came and poured oil on his head. The oil signified his kingship. The oil signified his authority and his power. And as the oil ran down his head to his body, transformation happened. So I need you to know, even though you're in the midst of this valley, transformation yep. is happening. You are being anointed for your next level. I just need <laughs> you to know that. When it says here, he will anoint your head with oil. He is anointing you. So that when you go to the table, you go to the table in royalty. Yep. You will be anointed in royalty and you will be anointed for your next level. And then it says, my cup runs over. Why should I have a cup that runs over? 
See, when a cup runs over, that represents prosperity. Mm. That represents good. overflow. That's that good. represents more than enough. Yeah. Yeah. And so when you get to the other side of your fear, when you get to the other side of your what if, and you get into your reality, when you're at the table in a presence of royalty at the head of the table, which has been prepared with your name on it, your cup begins to run over <laughs> you walking you're running you're flowing in a level of overflow so yay though you walk through the valley it's preparing you it's positioning you mm -hmm. it's taking you mm -hmm. into your promised purpose i'm gonna leave it right there amen, amen. You, your your mouth should be watering your this should have been your yes. um your fruit and your tea for this morning's breakfast. But at 1130, Pastor is coming back with the main course with the French toast and the <laughs> eggs and the grits on the side. And, and come bacon back, and sausage, bacon, bacon and, and sausage. <laughs> so come back at 1130 and get the powerful word of God from our pastor, Amen. the pastor of power of the gospel ministries. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We praise you. We thank you, Father God, for this, this morsel, Lord God, the, the tidbits, the beginning um, that you gave us, the appetizer this morning. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for stirring us up. We thank you for encouraging us. We thank you, Father God, where it looks bleak, Lord God. You shine the light, Lord God, and we thank you, Father, for being God. We thank you, Father, that we have faith in you as our light. And we thank you for being our God. And we thank you that you allow things to be as well as they are. And we thank you for healing us. And we thank you for delivering us. And we thank you for taking us to a whole nother level. We yep. thank 